Hello, everyone. I am Hong Ting Su from National Taiwan University. I am excited to present our work, Situation and Behavior Understanding by Troll Detection on Films. This work is done with Chen Shi Zhang and my co authors from National Taiwan University, University of Toronto, and Microsoft. This is the outline for my presentation. I will start with our motivation and then present our brand new trope detection task. Next, I'm going to introduce our collected TIMOS data set and proposed model. Then I will show results, analysis, and human evaluation. Finally, the conclusion. So let's start with motivation. In the past decade, the progress of deep learning has hugely improved many shallow cognition systems and achieved human-level performance on various benchmarks, such as image classification, and enable various applications like image search. However, deep cognition skills like systematic generalization, motivation, and causality are still challenging, even for modern learning systems and applications. For example, an educated human could understand what bitter sweet is, but a movie recommendation system could hardly understand the concept and provide a desired movie to the user. In natural language processing, contextual embedding such as Elmo and Bird particularly has significantly boosted performance on many tasks and even reached human performance on several tasks, such as squad reading comprehension. However, some recent papers on ACLO, TACLO, and EMNLP also discovered some limitations of contextual embedding models, such as common sense, role-based events, systematic generalization, causality, and motivation. For example, as shown in the bottom, I believe you guys could easily answer this close, but very large embedding model, despite capturing the semantic of second sentence, failed to comprehend the motivation in the first sentence. Observing the challenges, we propose a novel trope detection test to evaluate and develop learning systems. We choose movie story as the test bed to evaluate learning system because the movie story includes implicit world knowledge, various characters and their actions, motivations, and causalities, as suggested by recent studies. There is a recent work on LREC18, which uses movie plus synopsis and trains the model to predict associate text. As shown here, a model might utilize certain keywords to predict the text instead of comprehending the story. On the other hand, our trope detection text moves a step further by leveraging more abstract tropes beyond actions, objects, events, or relations. Tropes are storytelling devices that frequently used in creative production, such as movies, novels, and TV series, to describe situations that storytellers can reasonably assume the audience will recognize. Let's see some examples. This is Cool Car. We can see that hero's right is just as cool as the hero. Or heroic sacrifice. We can see the hero sacrifice him or herself to save others. Trope detection could be more abstract and tricky than conventional text. For example, we could see a victim is killed here. But to determine if it is an asshole victim, one needs to understand why the victim is really hated. Even his or her death could please audience. Similarly, in the second paragraph, 
An agent might notice that Batman flies away from the city with shallow semantic portrayed. However, one needs to understand that he left to save the city, and so that is a heroic sacrifice. Now I'm going to introduce our Timos data set. Our new data set, tropes in movie synopsis, so-called Timos, have 5,623 5, movie synopsis for MPST data set and associated with 95 tropes collected from TV trope database. The data set is available on our GitHub page. We classify tropes into four categories, including character trait, role interaction, situation, and storyline. First, character traits are tropes centered on one or more characters. It could describe personalities or strengths and could be more or less simply good or evil. For example, even evil has standards for billions that are not that bad and worth sympathy and being complicated in terms of good or evil. Next, role interaction tropes are about character interplays, including awareness, encounter, or actions, also sometimes related to character traits. For example, pet the dog is when villains are doing something nice. It could be a moment or an action for an even evil has standards. Situation tropes are thin level scenarios to send audience emotional or conceptual messages with certain roles or interactions between them. Such as irony, where the intended meaning is an inversion of the plain meaning. Finally, storyline tropes which control the direction of the movie. Peter Three ending is a classic example. The story ends with victory and a harsh price. Next, we will introduce our proposed model. To tackle the trope detection task, we designed a multi-stream comprehension network. First, inquiry module encodes the movie synopsis, and knowledge module embeds the trope to learn the semantic of each trope. The comprehension module then integrates trope knowledge and movie inquiry on different semantic levels. We use word, sentence, and relation level strings to capture different level signals. Then the organization module fuses different levels semantic by attending strings according to given tropes. Finally, the pool representation is concatenated with each trope embedding and passed to a binary classifier to predict the trope. For relation level comprehension, we design a graph-based network, multi-step recurrent relational network to model relation level semantics. Our MSRN is inspired by a prior work, Recurrent Relational Network on Neuris A Team. RN utilizes a graph neural network and a LSTN to perform step by step reasoning. We use a graph to embed characters and their relations, then extend RN to lab by leveraging the output of each step to utilize role interaction codes progressively. Next, we will present our results and analysis. We compare our model with three strong baselines, including contextual embedding BERT, graph-based RRN, and tag detection system for synomication. First, we run a random guess based on as a reference. Next, we try BERT with them without fine tuning. Fine tuning all layers perform 1.F1 MAAP better than only training the output layer. We test four different variants of tech prediction system and reach roughly 22F1 and 70 MAP, indicating that drop detection is a challenging task. 
are an utilized graph-based network and is comparable to frozen bird. Our MSR and extends RN using multiple steps information and boosts the performance by 0.3 F1 and 1 MAP. Using MSRN with word or sentence information further improves the performance. Finally, our full model achieves the best F1 and MAP scores. Next, we analyze the difficulty of each trope. The chart shows the easiest and the hardest tropes according to our experimental results. For easiest tropes, the numbers are the minimum of all model results, while hardest ones are the maximum of all model results. Oh crap is a classic trope that a sudden turn occurs in the plot, and it is straightforward compared to other tropes. Big Bad and Deadpan Snarker are usually men and baby characters in the movie plot. At the same time, machine struggle detecting some tropes and performs even worse than random baseline. Despite being more complex, some tropes such as would hurt a child are depicted in a more veiled way. As children abuse in films or literature is considered dark and controversial. Furthermore, this trope becomes tricky when children themselves are creepy or even evil. Next, let's see what our model pay attention to when predicting each trope. First, in impaled with extreme prejudice, where someone gets stabbed, we see kill, revenge, and escape attended. In your treating heart, we see sex treating and sexual, drinking and alcohol attended by the model. Here is a graph attention example of your treating heart. In the movie plot, Harry is having an affair with Cox's wife, Katie. Our model focuses on three characters involved in cheating. Now move to human evaluation. Our human evaluation aims to answer three questions. First, tropes are annotated according to movie themselves, but we fit models with movie synopsis. Therefore, it is crucial to evaluate that how many tropes are detectable and determine the second question, the gap between humans and machines. Finally, we also investigate how humans detect tropes. This is our human evaluation interface. Each person was asked to determine if 10 selected tropes were in a movie synopsis. Match means the annotator was certain that the trope occurred in the synopsis. While similar refers to a convincible trope according to the plot. For example, a sudden turn between two consecutively sentenced might be the oh crap. Result demonstrates that utilizing common sense enhances human performance by conceiving. Note that not only recall, but precision is improved. Here are some takeaways for you. We propose a novel test, trope detection to evaluate and develop learning systems with deep cognition capability. With a new data set time modes available for downloading now. We try to tackle the challenging text with smartest stream comprehension network. Human evaluation show a huge gap between human and state-of-the-art learning systems and suggest that common sense improves the performance. Thank you for listening and feel free to contact me if you have any questions.